a important question that should be asked when calling a drug and alcohol treatment center is what is the relapse policy? Uh, does the treatment center throw the client out if they relapse? Uh, do they allow them an opportunity to uh, change their ways? Uh, do they put them on a behavior contract? What does the treatment center do should someone relapse? Um, addicts and alcoholics did not come to treatment uh, for singing too loud in the choir. Uh, there may be relapses. Does a client, does a treatment center take $20,000 from a client and if they relapse within the first week, do they refund it? Uh, or do they try and work with the family and the client to see why they relapsed? Uh, what were the reasons behind it? What led up to it? One of the most frequently asked questions uh, that we hear from a loved one or a parent calling in to the treatment center is, uh, is the treatment center uh, gender specific? Gender specific treatment centers uh, have their pluses and they also have their minuses. They have their positives, they have their negatives. Um, some people prefer uh, women only, some people prefer men only. Um, they feel as though the two mixed together may be detrimental to their to their recovery process. Um, others feel like uh, some of the issues that men and women have are with each other and they should be sorted out while in treatment uh, because once they leave treatment they're going to have to deal with the, uh, the opposite sex and uh, a lot of people, a lot of treatment centers like to uh, go ahead and and solve the problems rather than uh, taking a band-aid approach.